Hey, hey, good morning, friend. We're back at you with another Willog here. Uh, I'm about to run into Home Depot, grab some uh, grab some orange peel texture, going to finish up another job today. Going to be a great Willog, super excited about it. Uh, wanted to mention that I haven't really talked about it a lot lately, but this is like my 44th Willog. So I got a whole bunch more Willogs. This is a whole series of Willogs. So this is the 44th episode. <laughs> so if you guys want to check it out, I'm going to link it up here. Uh, you guys could check out the whole uh, the whole playlist of all my vlogs. Um, it takes you kind of through the last you know four or five months of my business, things I've learned. I've changed a lot of pricing. I've gotten an employee. Uh, a lot of things have changed, and I've been through some ups and downs, some good jobs, some bad jobs. So, needless to say, just check that out. But uh, we're going to run into Home Depot here. We're going to grab some texture. So let's see how fast we go through Home Depot. Let's do it. All right, we did it. We got our got our orange peel texture here. Hey guys, I got some new shoes. Pretty exciting. Check this out. Red wing shoes. You may not be very excited, but I am. <laughs> you guys may not be very excited about the red wing shoes, but I'm super excited about them because they are the first pair of boots that I've ever bought that are like actually like work boots. Like, I mean, I've the only I've always cheaped out, so I've always bought like Walmart you know boots this is the first time i've actually spent some good money on some good high quality boots and i've been wearing them all week so far and i'm loving them they're really great i love these they are waterproof um, and then it's cool with red wings you can bring them in anytime and they give you new laces and they also clean them and and oil them for you at any time so i'm pretty excited about that so if they ever get dirty just bring them in drop them off they clean them for me so pretty exciting so anyways let's get heading to our job today um we are finishing up a job that I started um, last week. So basically this lady, she had just a, it's a really old house. It's a house I did work at before. I, I installed some ceiling fans for her before. So she had no exhaust fan in this bathroom. So she wanted me to install an exhaust fan. So I went in to install it. I thought it'd be pretty, pretty simple. I thought I could just take power from where the switch is, run that up to an exhaust fan. It turns out that all the power comes to the wall light, which is above the mirror, uh, where the vanity is. Um, that's where all the power comes from. And then they actually have a, a, a switched, um, let's see, a switch. So they got power running over on the white wire and then they switched the black wire coming back over to the light. So all the power is in the light fixture. So what I had to do is I had to cut a big old square of drywall right there um rewire all that basically run two new wires run a run a full power over to my switch and then run a new wire from that switch to my exhaust fan so i have it all patched up i did one coat of drywall on it um and then she had she wanted to go from one light fixture to two light fixtures she didn't have the light fixtures in so i'm coming back just going to install the new light fixtures and i also need to do another coat of drywall mud and then my orange peel texture because it was a little bit too cold last time so the drywall compound just wasn't curing as fast as I wanted it to and I had to come back anyway so that is the mission for today button that up and then we have a few other jobs to go with we're going to be meeting with Frank um, and then run into the plumbing store so it's gonna be a great day so uh, let's get to it oh I'm also curious what kind of uh, work boots do you guys wear um, I you know I'm really loving these red wings do you guys have any other things that you like Frank really likes wolverines those are the ones that he loves. Uh, what do you guys like? Anyways, let's get to it. All right, so here's the drywall patch that I got here. You do another coat there, and then we went with the two lights. It used to just have one light in the center. And then we ran power over to here, installed a double switch, and our new exhaust fan. So that's what we went with there, so let's get to it.
Oh, you're here. It's coming. They're not happy. Oh. Yeah. Yep. I need to do it recently. Got a lot of fun. Got a three. All right, we got them all up there with some mis mis mismatching bulbs. That's all we have. Turned out pretty good though. Just need to level them out. All right, that job uh, went pretty good. Uh, we got everything buttoned up in the bathroom there. And you saw that I was painting the ceiling in the hallway uh, just around that light because the first time I was up in the attic, I accidentally hit that light with my foot <laughs> and knocked it out of the ceiling. So that was kind of a learning lesson. Uh, while, or last time I was there, I patched it up and then I told her I'd paint it this time. Um, so she was cool with that. It wasn't that big a deal, but still, you don't want to knock stuff out of ceilings. That kind of sucks. But anyways, I will post a before and after picture right here in the video so you can kind of take a look at what it looked like before it only had that one light in the center and then uh, after now it has the two lights more importantly it has a fully functioning exhaust fan and it's fully vented out through the roof everything like that that's the most important because there are six people that live in that house and they all use that one bathroom it's only one ba one bathroom house um, and she rents out the garage. So yeah, there's, I don't know how many people live there exactly, but anyways, there's a lot of people all using that bathroom. And uh, right before I'd gotten there, someone had used the shower and there was no uh, condensation anywhere. So I know the exhaust fan's working great. So pretty exciting about that because that's what she wanted, you know? So now we are heading across town to go take a look at Frank's job that he's working on. I'm gonna go say hi to him, help him out with the, with the job, help him get out of there. And then uh, we're gonna go over to another job with him, take a look at that, and he's gonna get started on that fence job. So anyways, so let's go see Frank. All right, let's see what Frank is up to. Hi, Frank. Hey, how are you? Good, here's the YouTube. Oh, hi, YouTube. <laughs> what? How the heck are you? <laughs> <laughs> what are you up to, Frank? Oh, I'm doing uh, install the shower door. Uh huh. Uh, one of Home Depot's finest. Nice. And uh, now I. It uh, looks real nice. Mm. Yeah. And uh, and now I'm painting this bathroom for the customer. Um, it's going to be all white. Cool. Because they just had the shower put in by someone. Yeah. And then they had a drywall repair over there by someone else. So. Yeah. So. Yeah. So yeah. Off cool. we go. Cool. Yeah, the other guys have asked me a lot if I paint, and I say, well, Frank paints. <laughs> I don't really like painting. Frank's a glutton for punishment. <laughs> okay, Frank, we're going to get to work here. All right. All right. I'll see you a little bit later. See ya. All right, we've done a little bit of work here in the past. We installed this guy here. We installed that last time we were here. And then last time we were here, we also installed this pre-hung door here. Let's open it up. And it's actually an interesting pre-hung door because this is actually 
a two by six wall um just built with two by six rather than two by four so you can see here is the original door frame right here which is four four inches wide and then you have an expander kit that actually expands out your jam another what two inches or so inch and a half or so and that goes all the way around you can see here so original door jam expansion kit so that came out pretty good the one thing is when we when i installed this door um there was a little alarm sensor which is right here this is a new one uh it was down here around this area here it actually comes through this box here and i actually cut through it with my sawzall so we have to put a new one in so that's what i'm going to get get going on right now all right here is our wires right here and you see there's there's the old sensor that i just cut in half you can still see the red from the sawzall blade so we're going to uh drill in right around here and we are going to make our new connections put ours in and then need to put it in the in the door itself and then put our trim back on it There we go. All right, got them wired nutted back in. We got our sensor and the way you test it is you open it up and listen for that beep. It's very faint. See if you can hear it. Yep, it works. Check it out. So we got our magnet there and we got our sensor there. So now we just need to put our trim back on. Call it good. So now they want to put this screen door on this new door that we installed. So we're going to be putting that together. Okay, here's our screen door. Latch is pretty good. All right. All right, got my dash pot all put in. Let's loosen this and see the operation here. So, closes nice and slow, and then it comes to a latch. Perfect. How's it going up here, Frank? Uh, I'm almost. Oh, hi. <laughs> I'm almost. Uh, uh, Oh, almost touched the paint, huh? Almost. Okay. I'm um, almost done. Looking good. Um, it, it just, there's, there's some shadows going on, and it's like... You didn't get any on you. A little bit. Oh, well, you're looking pretty good. Thank you. Appreciate that. Nice. I don't think I would have picked white as the color, but hey. Well, uh, maybe that's what makes him happy. <coughs> makes him feel good. It makes it look clean. Yeah, clean, 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 till it gets dirty. <laughs> True. All right, this is what me and Frank are up to right now. Got to attach this galvanized post. This whole section of fence was actually fallen that way. And what we did is we put two 16-foot pressure-treated 2x4s, one on the top 
and one on the bottom and uh, putting in two new galvanized posts to support this broken fence post here um, so that is what we're doing didn't want to leave you guys hanging on that but that is pretty much what we're doing and then um, we're supposed to be having a business meeting right now but <laughs> that's not happening because we're working uh, so anyways so that is it for today's vlog I uh, hope you all enjoyed yourself and I hope you guys have a fantastic day say bye Frank see you man <laughs>